It has to be beautiful, it has to be functional, and classic at the same time. Textiles add color, texture, pattern to the furniture, to the walls, to the windows. It's what becomes the passion within a space. Textiles in the history of design have been somewhat neglected. The BART exhibit is really a once-in-a-lifetime event. We're all very honored that they understood who Knoll Textiles was and is and thought there was enough of a history and a body of work to do this incredible exhibition. Once Florence Knoll becomes a leading factor in the company in the mid-1940s, she's not finding what she wants in the marketplace of interiors textiles at the time, and so she's looking at men's suits and she's saying, that's what I want. She was really influential on creating this dividing line between what was considered a classic textile and she brought it forward to being much more clean and modern. Knoll really has been an international company from its founding. Pretty much right away, Hans and Florence Knoll are going to Europe to gather the best design they can find. People that are trained at or taught at the Bauhaus. Annie Albers, Esther Hosrazzi, Marion Strangel. It's always been a focus on texture, on color, using textiles to bring a more human aspect into the stark interiors of modernist architects and designers. Cato is celebrating its 50th birthday this year. It's one of those classic, timeless products that will probably always remain in this line. People sometimes look at it and ask if it's a brand new textile, so right there you know it's iconic. For many, many years, we had a lot of just solids and textures. It was sort of the anti-pattern in the beginning, and then we slowly evolved into more decorative ideas. Part of the legacy of Knoll is the respect that it accords to design and to designers. The fact that the company has existed for a long time and has such strong design roots sort of compels you to, in some sense, rise to the occasion of doing something that you believe is of enough quality and has a kind of a above historical trends idea to it. So that's the more risky one, but I love it. <laughs> with Dorothy's work, which brings in a lot of fashion aspects, and especially with Noel Lux, which actual fashion designers are coming in. And you have this interest in bringing in fresh perspectives that really is in keeping with what Florence Noel was doing in the 1940s, using new fibers and new methods of printing. On my wall here is my wall of inspiration, and that includes my favorite designers, fashion designers. It includes pictures that I've taken when I travel, pictures of Karl Lagerfeld and Oscar de la Renta, people that inspire me to do some great work. We have over 90 mills that we work with all over the world. I'm very proud to say we have a lot of mills here in the U.S. that we work with. I never use the same mill for one collection. I tend to use three or four mills for one collection just to add different concepts and different fibers coming out of various places around the world. Gramercy is woven here in the U.S., which is a highly unusual technique to have at a mill here. It's a process that's hundreds of years old and usually done with very traditional ideas of textiles. I decided to take a very classic geometric modern pattern that I developed and give it to this mill. and It really shows how you can bring this very unique, timeless idea to a modern textile. We probably use Knoll textiles on every project we do. They just sync with each other. They have a variety of different textile designers, and they all bring to the table something different, and it gets better and better and better every year. I get really happy when I look at a collection and think, wow, it looks pretty amazing, and my gut tells me that the world will feel the same way. You walk into a room, you see these intense colors, you see pattern that's bold, you see subtleties. I think textiles just add happiness to a space. <laughs>